Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Thursday, October 8th. I have a very quick stimulus package update for you and updates on the COVID news, the unemployment news, and our $500 grants that we are giving away. It is now officially 26 days until the election, until we most likely will know who our next president will be, as well as a whole bunch of other lawmakers in the Senate and the House. So it's going to be a busy next few weeks and I'm going to try to do a video every day. So please subscribe, especially if you want to be considered for our $500 grants. Let's start with the most important news. Pelosi this morning rules out an airlines only aid plan, even though earlier in the day Trump claimed that stimulus talks are back on. So as you know, earlier this week Trump tweeted that the stimulus package was off. Then he said, well, it might be back on for direct stimulus checks. He had an interview on Fox and Friends this morning where he explained his thinking like this. I shut down talks two days ago because they weren't working out. Now they're starting to work out. What he means by that is Speaker Pelosi and Mnuchin are talking, okay? Speaker Nancy Pelosi of California said she would not agree to a standalone package for airlines unless Trump committed to a broader pandemic relief plan to help struggling Americans declared that there was no standalone bill without a bigger bill. She has always been firm on that. Of course, the New York Times did an in-depth piece yesterday that examined what I've been saying all along, that Democrats just do not want something to get passed before the election. And many Republicans feel the same way because they want to stay fiscally conservative if they are thinking that Trump will not be reelected. They don't want to be on the wrong side of something by approving a large bill. So her comments cast doubt on the prospects for a compromise just hours after President Trump had given an upbeat assessment, as he tends to do, saying in an interview that he had reconsidered his decision to pull the plug on bipartisan negotiations. You know, in his upbeat talk today, Trump said that there might be a possibility of $1,200 stimulus checks. We're talking about airlines and we're talking about a bigger deal than airlines. Again, that's just talk. To me, again, 26 days until the election, there's going to be talk every day. He's going to want to be seen as giving hope to American people. Millions of people have already cast ballots, but he still wants to project himself as giving hope, giving possibility, even though the odds are almost certain that nothing will get passed in these few weeks. I mean, I've said this since July, August, and September, that the odds are virtually null that something will be agreed upon before November 3rd. But I still want to report to you on what's being said so you understand what our lawmakers are and representatives are saying. Whether you like it or not, one of the best sources is Twitter these days. The House Appropriations, again, attacked Trump. They said that while President Trump has abdicated leadership on coronavirus, House Democrats have led the way to crush the virus, support working families, and safely reopen the economy. And they do a little video on that. Meanwhile, Trump's Twitter, of course, there's a lot going on. His Twitter has attacked Pelosi this morning and blamed her for a lot of the stalling and also the quote witch hunt that he always says the democrats are doing on him meanwhile pelosi held the weekly press conference today this is where she made the comments that there will not be a standalone bill and if you're wondering what steve mnuchin's saying he didn't say anything about the relief package today but he did announce an hour ago on twitter that there are further sanctions on iran Again, that's good to know. Here's the Treasury's press release, but it doesn't help the American people, which is what all of us care about. What about us? Here's the latest COVID map. As you can see, the hotspots are still in the Midwest, especially Wisconsin, but also South Dakota, North Dakota. I mean, they have smaller population centers, so it doesn't appear like it does, for example, in Wisconsin, but there's still the, the towns and cities in North Dakota, South Dakota, and across the Midwest, Nebraska, and Iowa are seeing increases. All of these are trends, so they're relative to where they were previously. But the bad news is that cases are increasing in half of the U.S. states at the moment. The death count has been on a gradual decline. The seven-day rolling is around 800 deaths per day related to COVID. However, the cases per day has been climbing over the past few weeks, and the rolling average is around 44,000 per day. And again, over 800,000 Americans filed new claims for state unemployment last week. Again, these numbers are still huge. On to the hashtag skip stimulus. If you could use $500. We're here to help. Watch this video right here. And as part of the instructions, you'll need to go to this page, helloskip.com slash stimulus checks. But watch this video first. The recap is you need to be a subscriber. You need to watch this video and enter your email here and you will be eligible for one of our $500 grants. We've already announced 16 winners. We are continuing to announce as many as possible. And the great news is we don't have millions of people following our channel yet. So you can share with a friend or family member 
increase your odds in your inner circle. We're going to share some videos from the winners in the next few days, but we're doing everything we can while nothing happens in Washington. But we're still going to give you the news. 26 days left to the election. Thank you so much for supporting us and leaving comments. As always, stay well, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.